Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Um, I thought I'd do an updated um, Ekiposa um, Aurora um, review because um, it's been a few months since I had this. Um, Aurora moved their grow to Canada a few months ago and took all their flower off the market for a while whilst they um, regrew it. Um, and now it's back and it's all Canadian grown. So I thought I would um, get some and try it out. Um, and I think the quality has improved on this. Um, it's got a bit of stickiness to it, which is really unusual for UK medical. Um, and I don't have any other strains that are sticky at the moment apart from this one. So um, pleased with that um and yeah it's um 10 thc 10 cbd so the main terpenes are a whopping 66.66 percent myrcene um so i think that's what gives this strain um its calming anti-anxiety effects um and then it's got 24.69 percent alpha pinene um which is really good for my lungs i find um this strain as well as la confidential brilliant for my asthma um, and then it's got 4.94% limonene and 3.71% linalool. So it's mainly uh, myrcene and pinene. It's very similar in profile to their LA Confidential, but obviously this is a balanced strain, so it's lower in THC and higher in CBD. Um, but I think this tastes better than LA Confidential. Um, I really do. This is a little bit more complex um, and it's a really nice sort of floral, piney taste, whereas LA Confidential, I just feel like is a bit one one dimensional. Um, but yeah, it's a really good strain for me for daytime. Um, and this is actually my favorite balanced strain that I've tried. And I've tried most of the ones on the medical market. And this is my absolute top favorite. Um, because it is really good quality flower and also it's it's really calming because it's got a lot of mercy in it but it's not sedating so um it's a really good strain for me in the day um at times um I wouldn't use this if I had really bad pain because I don't feel like 10% uh, THC is really going to um, be enough for my chronic pain. But for my anxiety during the day um, to keep a clear head and to um, get stuff done, I find this a really good strain. Unfortunately, it's the most expensive balanced strain. Um, Aurora is quite an expensive brand it's eight pounds a gram so 10 grams is 80 pounds um but the quality is really good and the effects are really good as well so i'm going to continue to repurchase this and i'm really glad it's back in stock again so let me know if anyone's tried Ekiposa, and yeah i look forward to reading your comments